Right now we're in Atlanta, Georgia in the championship competition. We're about to start round, 50, round 51 and we're going to see how we do. What you guys are going to do couldn't make me more proud. The president is so committed to, to STEM education. Your commitments to your own education, your working teams here is an absolute inspiration to the country. Best of luck. Thanks so much for having me. Have a great, great competition. By following your passion and using your abilities as best you can, every one of you will have a chance to make a positive impact on the world. So have fun and good luck at this year's competition. We all look forward to seeing how you take your talents and passion and use them to create the kind of breakthroughs and innovations the world so desperately needs. Representing the Salt Lake Valley 4-H, it's Prototype X! 32-30, working the far side of the field, in the red zone. 10-3, that rookie team has been sharp. Not just today, but all week long. Here it comes to a call. That great rookie team, 32-30. The scoring machine is out there for the red line. Uh, last we checked, we were in 30-something, but that was this morning. <laughs> a lot of action in the middle of the game. We got five home by the big deal. And Gale Force is the only one over the home zone there, over by the blue. Blue with a one-point advantage. We go down under 20 seconds. Gale Force is ready to hang. They, they're connected to the side of the tower. Going to reverse the girl going out. Now we're going to have to slide up. Smith makes the move. Team Gurr from Churchville. <laughs> Robots are cool, they're made of metal, they're heavy, they're big, and they kill people. Something. <laughs> Bad robot! But that's only in the movies. Ours doesn't actually do that, it's more friendly. When I pick up some Lego magazines with the robots in it, I try to figure out exactly how it would work, even though I never actually had a set. And once I got my first set, I was hooked. So once I heard about FIRST Robotics and being able to actually build these really massive robots and actually have them go against each other, I just really grabbed onto the idea. Yeah, from the red line, and they achieve the goal. The remaining time left in the match. what they actually can do and hopefully it'll get a lot more people involved in first robotics. Up front is Laura.